In this Canva tutorial, I'm going to show you how to crop an image to a shape. In order to crop an image, we need to have a frame, and those frames can be in many different shapes. So we're going to go down to Elements and tap here. And then up here in the search area, you can start to search for frames, or down below, as you click on search or tap on search, you can scroll down a little bit and then find frames. And so we'll find the frames category. Tons of different frames in here, all sorts. You can look in the basic shapes, though, if you're just looking for some kind of basic shape of a frame. I'll also show you how to create like a custom shape frame here at the end. But let's say we want this circle frame. And so if we want to crop our image to this shape, a circle, we're going to tap on the circle frame to add it to our artboard here or our canvas. And so once we have that, then we just need to tap off of it and exit out of the edit mode of that and go back to elements. And you can upload a photo or find your own photo. I'm going to go back so that we can get back to the photos category. And if we tap on search elements, we're going to come down here and I can see photos. So I can add any photo in here. Uh, maybe I want some kind of a portrait. Uh, so I could pick this portrait here. And if I tap on it, I'm going to be able to add it into my project. Now, once I have this photo in my project, if I just tap and then drag it, I can drag it into the frame. And then if I double tap on that frame, I can actually edit the crop of it. And so I can move this photo around within the frame. I can rotate it down here if you need to. Um, and you can also scale it up and down just by grabbing on one of the corners here. So once you feel like you have that in place, you can tap off of the photo to sort of commit any changes you've made. And now you have this uh, shape with a photo inside of it. So the photo has been essentially cropped inside of there uh, or masked inside of there, if you're familiar with that type of term. Now, if you want to create your own frame, uh, I have a tutorial on this. You can do it on the computer. But if you're here in the app, you can actually come down here to the bottom and we're going to exit out of that and kind of scroll over and find apps. And inside of apps, we're going to search for Frame Maker and then use this Frame Maker app right here. And so you're going to, there's going to be a button that says open and you can open it up. And inside of Frame Maker, there is a pro feature of Frame Maker. So if you want to pay to convert any image, there's a section to do that here. However, you can create any basic shape with this grid up here. And so you can click and drag on these points. You can come down here, you can remove a point if you have one selected. You can snap to the grid. You can also adjust the amount of grid columns that there are. And then you can also look at any of the other shapes that have sort of been created. But if you double tap anywhere, you're going to be able to add a point and kind of create a shape that uh, is custom to whatever you'd like. So you can bring these points around, create a custom shape. Once you have that shape created, if you kind of scroll down to the bottom here, you're going to see add to design. And so we add that shape to our design. And now you can see we have that shape out here or that frame out here that we've created. And now we're going to be able to add in any image to that as well. So if we go back to our elements and then we go to uh, you know, we can just search for something like portraits if we want uh, or upload our own imagery. Um, once we find some kind of portrait, we just tap on it to add it and then click or tap and drag. And then we can drag it into that shape and it acts just the same as this last frame. So these are both frames. Double tap to adjust your crop and adjust how that photo fits and fills the frame itself. And uh, there you go. That's how you can crop photos into shapes here in Canva.